One step inside de Guérinday's fine art materials and curiosities and you are transported back in time. Thick wooden tables and cabinets are stocked with art supplies as you might well expect. What's unexpected are the curios, things like masks, antiques, taxidermied animal heads, and jewelry. Maura Rowe is the executive director of the Old Lyme Academy. She designed the store. She says the art supply stores of the 19th century also had similar knickknacks. These are the items that artists want to use in their still life paintings and drawings so that when they're drawing they could come and borrow a shell or they could take a piece of taxidermy and they could draw it. While she says de Guérinday's was inspired by legendary art stores like Sennelier in Paris and L. Cornelison in London, a quintessentially American kind of store also caught her attention. When you have a chance and you're on a road trip and you go into an old hardware shop, it has this feel. You're immediately engaged, even if you don't want a tool, you're like, it's so beautiful, what am I gonna get? And you try to seek something out. Rowe says to that end, keeping those curios affordable was important. We really want it to be accessible to everyone, so we have things that are, you know, $12 and um, $5 so that everybody has access to something interesting and objects of beauty and, you know, there's a story behind all of them. Maura Rowe says the ultimate goal of Daguerrandais is to bring people together and inspire them. Whether it's to travel, to learn about histories, and just to have some fun. There's something here that somebody connects to in some way and it starts conversation. And in communities today, I think that's really important, right? Connection. De Guérinday's Fine Art Materials and Curiosities is on the campus of Lyme Academy of Fine Arts in Old Lyme and is open Monday through Friday, 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. Ray Hartman, Connecticut Public Radio.